Hello everyone. Welcome back to Stud I. Today we are going to discuss that how can we calculate or how can we convert the spherical spectacle power into the contact lens power. So we have discussed in the previous videos about which type of contact lens should be given to the patient if he is having certain refractive errors in powers, right? So over here we are only discussing that how can you convert a spectacle power into the contact lens power, right? So if a power is minus 6 diopters, which is a spherical power, right? And back vertex distance is very important to consider while converting the spherical prescription into the contact lens prescription. So back vertex distance is very important and we are doing here the back vertex distance compensation, right? So here how can you calculate the power? We have a formula which is contact lens power equals to spherical power divided by 1 minus back vertex distance into the spherical power. So first of all you have to convert the back vertex distance into the meters, right? So back vertex distance is usually 12 millimeter to 14 millimeters and you have to convert it into the meters. So how can you do it? You can simply convert the prefix milli into its value which is 1 milli equals to 10 raised to power minus 3 and it can be written as 1 over 10 raised to power plus 3 which is equals to 1 over 1000. It is some physical and mathematical expression you have discussed in and you have learned it in the physics and mathematics as well, right? So I don't think so that it is something very difficult. So you just need to add this value in the place of the milli. You can convert it into the meters with this method. So 14 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter which will be equal to 14 over 1000 meters and eventually we obtain the back vertex distance which is back vertex distance equals to 0.014 meters right. So you have converted the back vertex distance into the meters. Now you can simply place the values in the formula which I have told you that is contact lens power equals to spherical power divided by 1 minus back vertex distance into the spherical power. So what will you do? You will just put the values in the formula and you can obtain the contact lens power. So here we know that spherical power equals to minus 6 diopters and back vertex distance in meter equals to 0.014 meters. You're gonna place the values in the formula which is contact lens power equals to minus 6 divided by 1 minus 0.04 multiplying it with minus 6 diopters. So first of all you have to multiply 0.04 with minus 6 you will obtain here minus 0.084 so after multiplying these values you obtain minus 0.084 now the bracket means that it is multiplying right so outer value is minus over here so minus is multiplying with the inner bracket minus right so minus minus plus so over here you got 1 plus 0.084 after adding it you obtained 1.084 in the denominator now you have to divide spherical power with the denominator which is 1.084 you obtain minus 5.5 diopter sphere so contact lens power is minus 5.5 diopter sphere so whatever contact lens you are giving to the patient it should have the power of about minus 5.50 diopter sphere so the patient was using spherical spectacle power of about minus 6 diopters but the contact lens power should be minus 5.5 0 diopter sphere. So this is how you can convert the spherical spectacal power into the contact lens prescription, right? So same goes with the plus power and you can convert these values into the contact lens power with these formulas. So this is a short video on how you can convert the spherical spectacle power or spectacle prescription into the contact lens prescription. In case of any query, comment in comment section and thank you so much.